My name's Dave Backer. We live in Boise, Idaho. 70 years old, soon to be 71, and uh, enjoy the active lifestyle that Boise allows us. You know, I was one of those small town Nebraska kids that was raised doing everything. So basketball, tennis, volleyball, baseball, you name it, we did it. We were walking a trail and it was the first time I really noticed that ankle twinge and said, okay, that wasn't quite right. And it kept getting worse and worse and worse and we had quit backpacking at that point because I just couldn't carry that 50 pound pack anymore. So we decided to go in and see a surgeon, the one my family doctor recommend, not Dr. Hiroshi, at that time said, yeah, we're going to fuse that ankle sooner or later, and we're going to probably put a rod up your ankle. Scared the crap out of me. My name is Lori Becker. I'm Dave Becker's wife for the past 49 and a half years. It was really hard to watch him because you could just see the pain he was in. and. You know, not only physically, but mentally, I could see him kind of decline because he couldn't do the things that he was used to doing. And, and I think it scared him that that part of his life was over. I'm Christopher Hiroshi. I'm an orthopedic surgeon. I specialize in foot and ankle surgery. I'm with the Coffin Clinic here in Boise, Idaho. I first met Mr. Backer two years ago, and he had had two to three year history of pain in his hind foot. And so he came to see me and then x-rays showed that he had severe arthritis, both of his ankle joint and his subtalar joint. The dynamo is interesting because it has this nitinol compressive element and it provides dynamic compression throughout both joints. And I felt that maybe that's something that could give us good results. With the help of MedShape, we started a clinical trial. We're still in the middle of it, but right now our fusion rate, including both the tibiotalar joint and subtalar joint is 94%. Uh, and so that's why when Mr. Backer came to see me, we offered him the Dynanail because the results we were getting were very promising. After Mr. Backer's surgery, he did surprisingly well. Right away, his pain plummeted. In fact, the initial first five, six visits, he rated his pain as zero out of 10 on a VAS scale. His x-rays look good. He has a solid fusion. And so I had him in a cast from surgery till week six. At week six, I took him out of the cast and let him walk in it, cam walking boot and he still had minimal to no pain. And then at week 12, the three month range, x-rays looked like it probably fused. After surgery, I don't remember a whole lot of pain. The recovery, it just was easy. My wife will tell you later, I'm not the best patient in the world. Uh, I trust my body more than I trust the doctor's advice sometimes. And so you start to cheat a little and put a little weight on it here. And so that went very easily. You adapt to certain things, but mobility-wise, I do pretty much everything I did before without the pain. I think we thought it would make it better, but I never dreamed he would be doing hiking, backpacking trips again, ever. Some friend of ours happened to draw one of the rarest of the thing. They drew a cabin at Phantom Ranch, which is at the bottom of the Grand Canyon, and they asked Lori and I to go along. So that was April 1st, basically less than a year out of the boot, about 15 months after surgery. And we went down a trail called South Kaibab, which is 7.2 miles long, 4,900 foot a drop. And it is just like walking 7.2 miles of stairs. And the legs were tired, I was tired, but the ankle was never an issue. And so that was the success. So we had planned a trip to Spain to do a hike along the Northwest Spanish coast, 120 miles. So we went and accomplished that. It was a great trip. Um, and again, the ankle was never an issue. Having the ankle back allowed us to do things we used to do with the backpacking. Now we can do the walks that we've always wanted to do just his ability to get back to his life. It's an absolute miracle. It's given that life back, and at this point, at this age, you want to take all those years you've got left and do them well.